Hello everyone and welcome back to Dead Cells. I was going to do a thing where I just continue talking from the end of the last episode but it has been several days and it has been drawn to my attention that in the previous episode there was no game audio. There is a reason for this and the reason for this is that I had it muted. Not even a good excuse. Let's try ranged and shield until we die, <clears throat> which is inevitable because we have ranged and shield. And then uh, once we have failed that horribly we'll come back to a new run no doubt which is not just got a horrible terrible poor an awful selection of items to begin with uh, and hopefully maybe there's it's not okay maybe that's a little bit unfair because i think i put these on the wrong keys hang on hang on hang on hang on uh, is that what i want I, who knows uh, i don't even i <clears throat> I'm so lost that I'm not quite sure what uh, I want my <laughs> weapons to be on because uh, I, I would like... I think I want a shield on Y, but at the same time, I want my... Oh, gosh. What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> Nothing. I, I can't fight those people. Go this way, then. Shield plus range is a horrible... A horrible uh, combination sure you no doubt know if you've ever played this game and even if you haven't I've probably bitched about it in the past so ha ha how about you ah, so we're gonna have to go slowly I'm afraid just so that we can get through this hopefully get a, a weapon of some repute I'm gonna have to fight my way through the <clears throat> do you know what no I don't let's leave <laughs> So this is fine, don't mind that, but we can get into the time door. Uh, I, I don't care about the chest, I don't care about the shop, I, I don't care about anything. Let's move on to a, a better level, <clears throat> with more going for it, and get there in two minutes. We get 20 cells for the thing, so we didn't really... I don't think we missed out on any shell cells, that's the thing. Oh, oh. I've got a, f a blueprint, and all it's given me is eye shots, which is honestly just horrible. <laughs> I now regret my decision immensely. But you, uh, what was I to do? The first time we successfully got into one of these doors, it gave me some... Also, I assume I have to do that more often because there may be more mutations hidden behind there. But the first time I got into that, it gave me the best version of my favourite weapon. So now I'm sort of assuming that it's the best thing ever. Also, we can, we can pivot to that at <clears throat> the end of the next level if we have to. So that's good. I'm not going to do any of those modifiers. And we don't have any cells either, except we do have a little bit of a uh, a red build going on, but only by accident. Maybe I think we probably want to... I don't know what to do. <laughs> we we legged it through the level just to get that uh, thing, and it was a disappointment. So now I'm, I'm completely and utterly bewildered by what I'm supposed to do with myself. So let's just try... Let's just try going for straight damage. I mean, if you need something... <clears throat> if you need to make a choice in a game like this, go for damage seems to be a, a reasonable um a, a reasonable op option now i <clears throat> i mean the thing is okay when it what <clears throat> when when i can make it work it's great but i have to make it work which is there's a delay on it is my problem So we're going to be um, spending a little bit of time on each enemy getting it uh, getting it killed because we have to wait for the thing to fire and then sometimes do the same for the immediately next enemy. So can you not? There we go. Probably don't do that. Yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> we can manage this. We're going to have to be careful. And as soon as we can change away from this awful build... Actually, my question is not so much how do we get away from this build. It's more that when we get a melee weapon, <laughs> do we want to replace our shield or the uh, the, the ranged weapon? Are we happy with a melee and shield build? I think we are. Or a melee and ranged build, which I'm also reasonably happy with. I would also be grateful for some sort of... Um, Skill. <laughs> Something just hurt that. And I don't know what it was. Uh, 
I mean, this is fine. It's not that great. Anyway, where was I? <laughs> so there we were. Um, I could, with with production, I could probably see my way to uh, giving you a picture. We took a picture of the the accessible spot the next day. In fact, we took a picture the next day because uh, it was dark and I was very angry when we first pulled up. This accessible spot that we tried to pull into. Now, Jen's not got a small car. It's a large car, as mentioned, because <clears throat> sometimes you have to take a wheelchair. Uh, uh, and uh, affordable wheelchairs don't really collapse too well. Nice. Oh, that's spiky. I like that. Um, so, that and then the dog. Remind you that the dog is being trained as an assistance dog, so it's not a not a uh... no as soon as you get hit once that's it <laughs> game over man I told you we'd die on this run didn't I I wasn't lying honestly I'm wondering if maybe I don't use my ranged weapon at all or just sort of in between when I'm allowed to parry you know uh so the dog is for disabled assistance. The vehicle is for disabled assistance, you know. I mean, she's getting better, but it's not not wonderful. <laughs> she was only in hospital just the other week. When was she? It was the week before this whole s nonsense went down because she nearly dislocated her hip. We were in hospital in A&A. Oh, my God. That's a completely other story. We end up calling an ambulance because 111 told us to. Help. <laughs> Leaving me alone, bitter. You can. Did I parry that explosion? You can parry an explosion. I did know this, but I was so reluctant to try. Um. Where was I? Yeah, we uh, one 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 said call an ambulance. We called an ambulance, and the ambulance showed up. And to some extent, I feel bad about. I don't say wasting their time because it's literally their job. Um, but when the country is as you know crippled as it is right now, it, you really want to make sure that every time you make use of the social services in the country, that you really, really need to. Apparently, you can just push the button. Um, just because. There's a certain level, of, and I don't know if it's a very British thing, but there's a certain level of how do you know that your problem is good enough <laughs> to bother with, you know? Um, they, well, like, you find one one and they tell you, but at the same time, if it turns out to be nothing, then, you know, you, there's a certain, it's very British to feel bad about being <laughs> unwell to, or, you know, to, I don't want to cause anyone to bother, etc. Next level Canadian, really. I, I tried to um, block that, but I ended up shooting it, but I don't mind. S anyway. We've had enough visits to A&E. We've had enough visits to basically everything. S anyway. We need vehicle space for, you know, dog-related stuff. We need vehicle space for mobility-related stuff. And it ends up being that just having a decent sized car is important. Um, if we could afford one, we'd have a more efficient decent sized car. Finally, a thing. That's the first actual item I found. I'm not going to go to the sewers. Um, we're actually not far from getting 60, despite screwing it up. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's use this, actually. Ah, wrong one. Um, we would have a more efficient car, and probably a slightly quieter one, but the size is, is important. So we have it, and... You have to understand and probably assume and probably expect um, that people with these people with these considerations are gonna have a large car. I'm so mad at that. <laughs> I told you it was a rubbish run. I, I it showed up and I was I unnecessarily anticipated the. Uh, over-anticipated, I guess you might say. I over-anticipated the, the attack from the enemy. Uh, my rhythm got thrown off, and this is a rhythm game. Um, 
Sure, let's do this. This could be a purple run again because they've seem to have rebalanced the actual um Whoa! Let's you get behind your enemy. Very well. Oh immediately I get a grenade on this run. Yeah, have it you. Um <clears throat> I mean presumably you can expect that people will have large vehicles if they need things like dog crates it's not it's not just for me right i don't even have to justify the first of all i don't have to justify anything to you people you are consuming my content not the other way around secondly i don't have to justify yes i don't have to justify jen's car because other people even if you don't agree with my specific situation or our specific situation other people still fall into the like I, I can still cover other people's conditions with the same thing like there are people who are so incapable of their own mobility that they have <clears throat> you know first of all a full wheelchair not not even a foldy one like an electric one or something and a winch to get it in the car and a van with actual slidey doors etc you know it's it's just preposterous that they would consider that to be sufficient for anybody with any mobility issues beyond I need to use crutches sometimes. And those people, under the current regime, wouldn't get a disability pass anyway. So, what are you playing at, I guess? I don't have a shield, so I can't fight you. Leave me alone! That was horrible. Oh. I accidentally threw that. Putting those baddies on this floor is honestly just the rudest thing you could have done. So guess is why they did it. I forgot I had this. Nice, nice. We should use that more often because of you. There we go. Have it you. There we go. <clears throat> so, yeah. Forget me. Forget us. Just in general. I, I, I'm indignant on behalf of people that I've never met and but definitely exist. Right? It's not that I'm being indignant on behalf of some sort of arbitrary unknown like I don't even need to be indignant. Moving on. Not very far though. Um, moving on a bit. It was horrible. It was rubbish. The the thing was tiny. It was not wide enough for the for our car. It was certainly not wide enough for anybody who has real issues. Aforementioned, like, you know, actual... Um, is that doing freeze? Doing... Oh, that's my rapier. Um, no. Uh, okay. I would like another one, please. Anyone with, you know... A van to store their mobility concerns. <laughs> what are you trying to do? I, we couldn't fit. I tried to fit the car in. The vehicle. And um, essentially to no avail. There was a, a one of those big Ford. I can't remember what it was called. Um, give me a shield. I was hoping for a red shield. Uh, like a, it was a van. It was not just a van. It was a truck. You know, it had a, it was a flatbed truck. You know, it was a proper vehicle next to the um, this. Uh, are we there yet? We are there, so I can stop worrying. Next to the the, the disabled spot, the accessible. Spot. Stop it! I'm shooting you. There we go. And now this this disabled space. It wasn't just not wider than the car. It didn't have any cross hatchings or anything. There was no space around it. And it was wedged up against the wall. But the wall was at a different angle from the spot. Now you've seen this before when they do... They do do this with... Um, with, with parking spaces where they line up the parking space so that you can drive in forwards and then struggle like Billio to get out of it again because when you get out of it, you're, you're facing the wrong way. Um, <laughs> it's, it's the stupidest thing. Uh, I much prefer it when they just line the... Parking space up with the wall at 90 degrees, you know? Uh, 
Might as well unlock something. There you go. Golden outfit. Nice. I see a sword. <clears throat> Is it the Seder sword or the one that kills you immediately? <laughs> uh, let's find out. Tune in next week. I die, die. So I'm trying to cram this car in. I'm trying not to scrape. It is the curse sword, so let's not do that, because I'm bad at this game. I'm trying to cram the car in, and the car's bigger than the gap, as mentioned, but it's also bigger than not just the width of the car, but when you're trying to get into a space that is not perfectly in line with you, you've got to consider the turning circle of the car as well. So it's the diagonal of the car that has to be shorter than the various dimensions of the car park and the parking space and so in attempting to avoid scraping this massive ford i keep wanting to call it a dodge that's how big it was i think that's actually worth it first of all it's way better in terms of numbers but also we're setting things on fire so that's good too We've got <clears throat> this giant white pickup truck type van in the way. And and then, <laughs> as if that's not bad enough, um, there's no room to the side of it. Punishment. I'll put some in this, but not many. We can always pick up a sword and shield on the next one if we really want to. We should take light speed. Oh, we could just... Okay. No worries. Um, we can't get in. Because I can't move away from the space enough to come around it uh, and get the angle to be in the space. Because there's no cross hatching, there's no reserve space for getting in and out of the car. If I'd managed to get the car in the gap, I would have been getting out of the car from the right hand side being in the UK. And then probably would have opened the door straight into that van anyway. And then the passenger side, where normally you would put your disabled passenger, it would have opened up into a sort of triangular section between two walls at a right angle and then the angle of the parking space and then the door would open and then you'd just be trapped in that corner so I just drove a little bit further down a car parking park somewhere else um, by by this point I am already fairly livid so uh, not, not a happy man by any stretch of the imagination at this point um, remember I've already gone in once because I've already driven in the wrong direction because there was no signage. There's no clear signage. I sort of, normally, you can just drive up to the side of a... Um, like, to the front of a hotel. Something's making fire and I didn't ask you to. Ooh, the oil sword has its own built-in synergy. That's amazing. You do that. I didn't really want to do that, but that's okay. Um... <clears throat> My voice is a bit croaky, but I didn't bring enough water because the water that I have is unfortunately um, a little bit old. When it goes stale, ugh. Tastes bad, man. Run away. What was doing me a critical hit? After hitting an enemy on fire. So you set them on fire when they die. Something else catches fire as a result of that. You hit an on-fire enemy, and then for 10 seconds you're doing critical hits. What a palaver. Right, now we're doing crits. You die. Run away. <sighs> uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm trying to recall the vitriol that I had <laughs> this time last week. It's been more than a week, I think, since I recorded that episode, because... That would have been last Monday, so it, yeah, it's currently Tuesday. Um, so, right, I was... The, the whole like, moral of the story is... Well, first of all, the whole moral of the story is never go to a Britannia hotel. It is documented that you should never go to Britannia hotel. Um, but in this case... Yeah, you just... There we go. Uh, thank you, but also no thank you. Uh, never go to a Britannia hotel if you have any consideration for, e.g., you know, 
ill people. <laughs> if you are burying an ill person, or if you are yourself an ill person, a uh, person with mobility issues. Um, I'm saying ill person like I'm saying short person. It's not what I intend to say. <laughs> it's not how I'm trying to do it. I'm just, you know, being... Using broad strokes to, to speak here, because basically, if you have... It, basically, just don't go. If you are alive, don't go. There's nothing that can be good for you. So we've got to this hotel. Um, now, remember, I can't stress enough. I'm extremely cross by now, because what's happened is, trying to avoid scraping the van, the, the truck that was parked next to the woefully inadequate disabled space, uh, accessible space, the inaccessible accessible space, what I've done is I've scraped the left-hand side of my car, or our car, Spiders is nice, but uh, I think we're on a because we're on a burn thing. Um, I I don't know if we want to ruin it by trying to get ice. I would like to replace the ice bow with something that would better synergize and let us um, do a lot more damage. Because I'm not really using it as much as I like freeze. It's a little bit slow for sort of an emergency freeze, and the freeze won't last very long because anything that I do. He says, immediately freezing something. Uh, anything that I do is going to... Things keep dying before I can hit them and charge on my crits. Uh, anything I do is, is not going to last long enough, basically. How about you? <laughs> Tanked it through the fire. I carried it through the fire. Nice. Good fun. Run. <sighs> Next thing that happens... Again, very angry, because I've scraped the car, and then I've tried to make light of it, and what's happened is, whilst trying to make light of it, with, um, ooh, careful, uh, I, I, I've made a joke that didn't necessarily land. It's not that it was a bad joke or anything, it's just that we were both so stressed out that, you know, uh, I got snappy, right? And, and that's no good. Because we're trying to get to a hotel on the night before a hospital appointment, which is already very anxiety-inducing, right? So it's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, pay a little bit of attention here, because I don't want to find myself... It's, it's not worth the risk of losing my kill streak, to be honest with you. So let's be careful. We're already very anxious, and it's late at night, don't forget that. Late at night, anxious. Tried to park in the accessible parking bay. Scrapes, luckily we scraped the, there's a step that helps you get in the car. Or you can sort of hold onto the side of the car. And so there's a, a footstep I'm at the car with. Yes, actually, I will take the assault shield. I, I'm not sure about a shield build right now, but kidding me this is the end there's got to be more baddies there might be more baddies uh money assume screen more nah um do I, so what time must it be now like it's getting off at midnight it's certainly gone 11 o'clock <laughs> i was gonna get extremely salty could you hear it in my voice 61. Done. Nice. Uh, do we want this? You know what? We could do that. Is it a... It is a weapon. Burns enemies blocked with a parry. So I'm going to take the one that uh, sells for more. Because I'm going to keep this. The reason is... It burns enemies blocked with a parry. So we replace an ice bow, which I wasn't sure about, with... Uh, not Ice Bow, which I really am sure about. Also, can we stop <laughs> charging quite so much? It's not necessary. Here we go. Might as well finish this off. Here we go. Nice. Right, we, we got our 60, so we don't need to worry about that. Nice. Oh, this is fun. As long as you remember that you're going to fire at the, the baddie like that, it's, um, it's all good.
Stop. <laughs> Enough. Nice. Uh, I can't summon the the anger, the ire. Hello. What is this? <laughs> I've never seen this before. This is a new place. This is a new place. Unless it's the rename of an old place, because this looks familiar. Uh, yeah, I, I can't speak with the true hatred for my situation that I really had on that day. But here we are now. More oil, more fire. That's really good. Um, but it's late at night. We want to get into this. We want to just want to go to sleep. <laughs> Please let me sleep. Driven all night. Not all night. But you, you know what I mean. A long time. I've been driving for a long time. Might as well put them in here. I don't want anything. Oh, I could have filled up frenzy. Never mind. It's okay. Um, I'm not doing any bleeding, so I think I will take this. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Don't really care to reforge those, and we'll take. Something that reduces our skills. Yes. Our cooldowns are on. I might as well use it. I don't know what I'm getting into here, so we might um, not finish the story. <laughs> Which is going on a long time, because I keep repeating myself. And also, I was so angry that I have to really drill home how utterly fed up I was with uh, what was happening. Maybe we do that later. <laughs> Next time. It is a level. I thought it was just going to be straight up a boss. Nothing here. I'm very scared. Let's try. Not helpful. So, um, hey, guess what the next thing is that happens? The next thing that happens is we try and get into the uh, lobby of the hotel. I went in once already and thought nothing of it. Um, they have a rotating door. Hey, do you want to know who else has a rotating door? Literally nobody! Except for my office for some reason. But, um, we'll leave that. Whew. Um, it's not... Honestly, actually, someone does have a rotating door. I don't think. Hey, hang on. There is a rotating door that makes me upset in the, like, very regularly. Who is it? It's the hospital! It's the actual hospital! <laughs> the Covent Coventry Hospital, the University of Coventry Hospital in Walsgrave, UCHW, has a bloody blinking, flaming, stupid, heckin' actual, honest to god, automatically powered. Don't know what you do, but uh, I'm glad that you didn't get to do it. So there you go. Um, Revolving door, not just a revolving door, but a powered one, a, a continually moving one, and as you well know, the sort that stops if you get too close to it or push it or basically do any of the things you normally do to doors. Now, to be fair, um, we've known for a long time that revolving doors are a horrible design choice, but maybe they didn't know back then. I will take this because it looks really good. Should I take it over the shield? Or the sword? <laughs> I will take it over the shield. I will not sell the shield. Zappy zap. I remember, I recall that these things hurt if you channel them too long. But it's not necessary that we uh, do that. This is a OP. I'm pretty sure this lightning bolt right here is OP. Strategic retreat. Don't mind unlocking stuff once in a while. There's a wall in the way. I zapped myself, but it didn't hurt. It's not like Quake then. Is it worth killing enemies? I don't know if it is, if I'm being quite honest with you. Uh, let's just see if there's anything good. Really. It's fine. So the world has moved. You know, we've, as a society, we've learned our lessons. And no longer <laughs> are we so foolish as to believe that a revolving door, in any capacity, is worth anything but scrappage. In fact, there are many revolving doors that I've seen that are now just open. They just leave them open permanently. Um, except for when the place is shut, <laughs> essentially. That's 30, actually. 
possible that we'll get through this. No, no, this feels like um, like a weaker graveyard. Oh, I see this. Use the rune, yes. Dare I? We should do this after we've um, decided that we're not going to get our 60. Revolving door and young dog. <laughs> Dogs do not necessarily understand. Revolving door. What are you? You're a Bernie buddy. You're an ice thingy. Right, I guess we'll go this way then. Last time I fought you, you were fine. What did we win? A scroll of power, which we will put in red, because everything is red. A new blueprint, which I'm now very pleased that I bothered to. I don't care about this amulet. We will sell it. Excuse me, I <laughs> didn't really expect you to grab that, quite honestly. Can you not roll through that? Am, am I learning something? I think you can't, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I assumed you could, but perhaps you can't? Can you not add new obstacles that I don't understand? Don't worry about it. Ta-da! We're the best. I'm the best. You're just watching me be the best. <laughs> the next day we learned that there was a side door. So they had to some extent considered um, human beings. I don't even want any of this. Someone's got a star on it. What does that mean? That's HP. Well, that's going to be 750. That's fine, yeah. I should probably go back and sell the shield, which I'm now not using. Um, Or maybe just roll... What if we roll lightning bolt? Because I'm not using my sword. No, I can't use my sword. Ramparts. What are you doing to me? And the ancient sewers is the other way. What else is there here? Nothing. Just a shield that I can't be bothered going to get. But there's no teleporter all the way over there, so I'm not even going to think about going that way. Uh, I like the ramparts more. If you're uh, if you've done well enough, you can go the easy way. <laughs> That's what they're telling you. If you've beaten the boss once, uh, there was a side door for accessibility purposes. Which, okay, I'll, I'll let you off to some extent. Rolling leaves three close for crow to find. So, uh, cold traps, can traps, can traps, cold can clunk, clink clank clunk. Goody goody goody. I like exploding remains, and I do get some HP out of that. Let's do... Oh, there's a grand It's empty or infinite. Until elite enemies. No. We do have the opportunity to maybe... This? Bit of a mixed build, but I'm okay with it. I don't know. I'm trying to get the dog to go through, and it's not a proper sized one either. Goodness knows what we're going to do if we have to take the dog into the hospital. Because if she, if and when she does pass the um, the assistance dog training, she's going to be allowed in a hospital. In fact, they're going to be required to allow the dog in a hospital. That's the whole point of the dog is that you know it, it's allowed in a hospital. It's allowed everywhere, which means it's not a problem to have the dog. <laughs> In terms of, you know, e.g. Um, traveling and stuff like that. They have to allow her on aeroplanes and stuff like that. But she will be well-trained dog, right? It's not like you're going to have a, an annoying yak attack dog on an aeroplane. It is going to be a silent, quiet, you know, unnoticeable dog. Whose only purpose is to provide assistance to the owner. And, you know, to be super fluffy. But uh, she's already got that down. And honestly, she's already a pretty well-trained dog. Which is very impressive. 
in my opinion. This weapon is overpowered, I swear to God. Um, it's the first time she's encountered such a thing as a revolving door. And th the revolving door in the hospital, at the very least, is um, quite large. You can obviously fit a wheelchair in it, so there's, there's benefit there. I think I'll just go up here. And then um, hang good prisoner. I will, I will not bother with the law today. <sighs> I thought the law. I thought there was law. Oh. Was some. Um, I thought there was law and there was some. Um, that's 30 already. Nice. I will send you a postcard in terms of fire grenade. Oh, good. Right, good. Um, mm, 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 mm. We'll go, we'll do the focus build. Bad baddie. No cookie. Woo! Thought you were going to get me. Um, uh, the revolving door, yeah, it's a big one at the actual hospital. Um, so you can sort of stand in it and walk gently. It doesn't feel like you're really confined. You do feel confined. It's kind of claustrophobic, but it's not that claustrophobic compared to this one at the goddamn hospital. Uh, hospital? Hotel. Oh, you bell end. I didn't even realize what it was that I was shooting. That's okay. There's more enemies. As long as there's 60 enemies left, I, I, I don't mind. But I'm determined to do... A little bit better now that we've got a a, a a weapon that basically can't lose <laughs> the only thing that can get me is stuff that i wasn't expecting to happen let's uh let's get back whilst i'm channeling the lightning bolt which happened <laughs> so please don't happen again uh yes more more damage That kind of does melee combat. Did you see that? I got HP for that. So does that. Interesting. <laughs> um. Right, dog. In a in a revolving door. And we couldn't get it going this door because honestly, it barely fits a person. Bear in mind also, I, I don't wanna like keep like fighting the same, beating the same drum or anything, but this is a, this is a hotel. People go to hotels with luggage. I don't know if you know this. If you, are you familiar with this? I wanna fight the elite, but I don't wanna ruin my kill streak right now so i'm gonna go back and do something else you know the I've, i saw several people struggle with not on massive suitcase i really like those suitcases on wheels but not the ones that you drive behind you where you get called a trolley wally by people on the underground but the ones which you hold vertically and they have four wheels and they go along next to you i think that's really a really good design because you get wheels, but you also don't get called a trolley wally by people on the underground. And, um... Whew. Nice. Uh, I, I mean, they're easier to control. You know, you're not... Ooh, jeez. You're not beholden to... Oh, what do I need to do that? Um, you're not beholden to this sort of constant... It's like a really terrible dog. <laughs> Always at your heels, but never really of any use. It's not doing any good. It's it's just annoying other people. No, like many dogs. <laughs> Which is probably why they're not allowed in places unless they're thoroughly trained. Um, Which I'm glad about. I wish they'd do the same for children. Now... So, so it's a tiny little place, and there's people with these not like knee height at best, like maximum, no bigger than that. No, you. 
Why did you... I find it so frustrating when this man is so difficult to control for no reason. I knew exactly what I wanted to do in that situation, and it would not let me do it. That. That's exactly what I wanted to do before. But you just went, did it. And, and threw me right off. Alright, let's go and get my bloody elite then. So frustrated by that. As you can tell by the fact that I yelled at about it. And I'm still going on about it. Shut up already. We know it's difficult. Yeah, but it's not... How many times have I complained about the... You know, the, the way this unit grabs things for no damn reason and stuff like that. I really need purple. I'll sell that. You know? It's, uh, there's always a little thing that manages to ruin a run. It's going perfectly well. Yeah. Had to go and screw it up for no reason, didn't you? That's good. Like all this. I thought... Oh, it's the whip that ignores shields, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> um... The dog doesn't want to go in. <laughs> oh no. Believe it or not. Because I didn't want to go in because it was a tiny weeny little little bitty living space. And it hadn't occurred to me on the way in that this was a tiny little space that the dogs had no experience in. The puppy has never seen this thing before. So, I mean, it's a good learning experience, but of course, the next day we discovered there's an accessible quote-unquote entrance around the side, which doesn't really make much sense because you can't bloody park if you need accessibility. -ish. One thing in their actual defense is that they didn't charge for parking if you have a blue badge. So I took the blue badge into the into the office, uh, into the reception, and said, need to get out of the car park, uh, I have blue badge. And they just gave me the, the token. It's a token-based parking system, which is another thing because... Consider the way I have described this car park. All of the bays are in such a oh hello, such a manner that you have to um, park in forwards and reverse out because they're all pointed away from the exit or entrance a slash exit. Well, that's part of it is it's given it away. It's the same thing. The entrance and exit is the same door. There's no there's no sort of there's no way through. Once you're in, you're in. That was good. Appreciate that. You die. Please die. Yes, well done. We're up to 36 already. This is actually going really well. Um, do that. That went well. Oh, come on. Good. Well done. Um, the entrance and exit to this place are the same barrier. It's automatic barrier opening on the way in and screw you on the way out, you have to put a token in a machine. There's a little machine and there's a little slot and you get a token from reception and it fits in the slot. Now, I'm pretty sure you could machine these tokens. <laughs> but I don't know if it would be cheaper than parking. So uh, that's okay. They look so generic, in fact, that I'm pretty sure you could just buy them in bulk and get free parking there, which honestly is sort of thing that they deserve for a place like that. But I digress. Although the point of this whole thing is for me to digress as much as I want to and you listen and watch me play Dead Cells. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, thanks for watching. Any feedback is welcome in the comments unless it's rude, in which case, uh, screw you, I'm not listening. That is for people who were rude up front because if you weren't rude up front, then that was not aimed at you, so I wasn't rude to you. Does that make sense? It does make sense. And if you didn't think it made sense, we're wrong. Um, <laughs> so if you're going to go to the Britannia Hotel... Oh, there's not enough baddies. going to go to the Britannia Hotel in... Ah, uh, Anstead. Britannia Hotel. You're going to go there, and woe betide you. And it's your own fault. You have been warned. But, at least by a packet of those tokens that get you out of the car park. Now, so I'm in this car park. I've uh, parked, haven't I? I don't, I don't think we can get that apart, because you're supposed to, because it's a car park. And finally managed to fit the damn car in the place. 
but it's pointing forwards, it's pointing away from the barrier. And now remember, there's not enough width in this car park for me to maneuver the machine that I'm driving to the correct angle to fit in the space with a Dodge, uh, a Ford Dodge, call it a Dodge, this <laughs> is a Ford Dodge, right? Um, In, in the space next to me. So there's certainly no way of me pulling out of the bay for The bay further down that I did park in was twice as wide as all the other bays. It was like one and a half times as wide, nearly, nearly twice as wide. It wasn't big enough to make another bay, but it was a funny angle because the whole car park's just crammed into the crappy place. Um... Interesting. So the next melee attack after using a skill inflicts... Oh, it's a mutation. Then I'll unlock them. There's no reason not to unlock the mutations. Also, this, a red mutation. Nice. All right, let's go and fight this loser. Blackbridge loser. Didn't really get anything new there. We do have poison. Although they'll be dead. <laughs> Everything will be dead by then anyway, so who cares? I, I don't need that. This this is a good run. I've actually only taken a couple of hits, and they've been bad hits, and I've got salty about them because I don't feel like I should have been taking them. I I planned all the moves. This is not going to go well. That's okay. I, I'm expecting this not to go well. However... Uh-oh. Hang on, I'm concentrating. Then you do that. Then you put that up. And you get close. Okay. I'm really concentrating here, because if we can do this for the first time without taking an actual hit, I'm going to be astounded with myself. Ah, my my skills are not ready yet. Way he's done it! What a legend! Although very much carried by a ludicrous amount of uh, amazing <laughs> material uh, 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 items. Broadsword. I don't think I need it. And honestly, it's not going to sell as well as the other thing either, is it? Oop. So we'll just sell everything that we've got and move on. That was great. I really appreciated the fact that the game just let me steamroll. I actually got an achieve called, achievement on Steam called Steamroller. So I appreciate the game for letting me steamroller that. And I've, for the first time, ever been in this door, which means there might be a... Interesting. Actually, that could be really good. The fire... Well... I don't know if it is. It does have inflammable oil, but my two grenades are doing me so much extra stuff that I'm doing so well. I don't like leaving a trap that's sort of lying around, if you know what I mean. Nearly there on that. That's really good. So where were we? I want to make sure you've got everything that you can, and then move on. Don't even need that, because it didn't take a hit, because I'm amazing. Stilt Village or the horrible place? Let's go for the horrible place. Why not? We're doing well enough that I think we should probably go. It's the sanctuary, though. That, do you know what? It made me so mad at the end of the last run. I'm just not going to... I'm not even going to let it get me down. I'm going to the still village, which will get me down, but not in the same way. Um, so I've reversed out of a parking space because there's literally no way of turning around. Uh, and that's the long and the short of it. I cannot turn around in this... Oh, I thought I could... I couldn't. So I've had to reverse out of the parking space... And I'm reversing all the way, ha ha ha, to, excuse me, what hit me and how? I got out of there ASAP. You saw it. You all saw it. Um, so I've reversed up to the barrier because it's the only way out of the car park. I couldn't reverse into the space because there wasn't enough space to turn around. I couldn't reverse out of the space because there wasn't enough space to turn around. What is a boy to do? I don't... I honestly think I should have a shield. I do not know how to use it because I want my shield 
and my primary weapon to be on white. So I won't be using my shield properly if I get one. You know? It's a, it's a real issue, actually. I'm not just whinging. Because the point of me having a shield is to uh, block things like those birdie things that shoot a load of arrows at you. But if I can't use the shield at the point of necessity, there's no point having the shield. Oh, that's news, by the way. <coughs> hey ho, hey ho, hey, ahoy! Thanks for watching. Um, continuing the rant, which is what you're here for. So, uh, picture if you will, reversing a large vehicle because you can't turn it round. Up, uh, up a, a, a car park, right? towards a barrier which opens immediately onto the street I don't need this anymore opens up immediately onto the street but the thingy where the coin goes now there's a bit more to this let me get there is that my phone yeah. quiet it did be quiet well done the 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 Thingy in question, the the little slot for the coin. Ah! Okay, kill it. Just wait for me. Wait for your grenade here, yeah. and then actually use it correctly. No. For God's sake. <laughs> no, you don't get to do that. Okie dokie. No. So there's a way out of the car park, which is on the right hand side, because again, in the UK. Which is, that's where the driver goes. But I reversed out of the car park. Right? Remember, this is the first morning. We're on our way to the hospital. <laughs> For reasons that are... Hospital reasons, right? We're already anxious. It's also 6 o'clock in the morning. I've skipped a lot. It's okay. You know, it, it, it's stupid o'clock in the morning. We're at the hotel. We're trying to get out of the hotel so we can go to the hospital. And the machine has given me jip because I have had to reverse out the cup. And now the thing's on the wrong side. So I'm, I've now got it in my mind, in my head, that <laughs> what's going to happen is... <coughs> Excusez-moi. Yeah, give me HP. That was a lot of uh, 50%, actually. Why am I going up? The thing's right here. The I've got it into my head that what's going to happen is... It, I've got to get out of the car... To put well, I've already left the car in the damn way because I have to get out the car simply to um I have to get out the car simply to go back to the lobby of the hotel because I forgot to did I open this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I f didn't realise how to get out. And the reason I hadn't realised how to get out is kind of enshrined in the fact that I had to go uh, backwards. So I didn't realise that there was a, a machine that ow, takes a, uh, a token in the first place. Right? So here's me <laughs> trying to get out of a, a car park, which I'm not allowed out of because I assumed that the gate would open automatically. I wasn't sure how it works. It didn't really say. And um, turns out what you have to do is go to the reception and say, let me out. <laughs> they charge you and then you show them the badge and they go, oh, never mind, which is fine. But then you're facing the wrong direction. So you have to put the token in the machine and then get back in the car and then reverse out 
onto a street in London without driving into somebody. Okay. <laughs> um, all at a time of the morning when you're not prepared for uh, to perform, you know, to deal with a situation you don't really want to be in in the first place, you know, in a hotel that you're hating. <sighs> so anyway, we've got into the hotel at about... It's coming up to 12 o'clock and we managed to get the dog through the revolving doors. <laughs> hey dog, here's how they work. She, she figured out a couple, uh, eventually, but having learned the next day that you could just go through the side door, kind of like, why well, you just... Everything was just so unclear. <laughs> this was very upsetting. But it could have been just written down a little bit better or anything, you know? It could have just been a bit more obvious. There could have been not just random people smoking in front of the hotel, blocking the sign that said disabled people go this way. There could have been a, an accessible spot with wider accessibility such that the remainder of the space was recovered from the space which was already far too wide that we did park in further down the... <laughs> to stress out, never mind. get the dog through the door hello we would like to go into our room please also bear in mind by this point we've just realized where the hell we are we're in that damn hotel that we swore up and down that we would never go into again because it was a Disaster last time it was an absolute dive, and um, oh, I'm I'm sorry I'm recalling. <laughs> Leave me alone, memories. What have I done to you? Do we want to go this way? I don't think we've been that way for a while. Oh, I have to use this. Um, yeah, right. The game keeps making me think and derailing me from my rant. The actual process of getting into the room was somewhat painless, but also kind of painful. <laughs> this, this hotel can't do simple things like, you know, give people room key. Uh, it, it wasn't that bad. You know, the, there were people, so it was... It's not like some hotels I've been to where you literally have to wait around for ages. But we did have to wait around a little bit more than I was happy to wait around because it was the middle of the night and I just wanted to go to the hell to sleep. You know, it's... It's a little bit swings and roundabouts here. There's, there's certain things where just the fact that I was there was the reason why I was sad to be there, you know? E.g. I was trying to go to sleep. That was a good. That was a good move. Did you see me do that? I saw me do that, and I'm proud of me. So well done, me. Nice. Give me all the money. Oh, your hugs and kisses too. I see you there. All dead. Nice. Once one of them dies, they're all dead because the explodey corpse thingy. We've got a good sort of chain reaction thing going on here, and I'm very pleased with it. So I was like you to climb and not do anything stupid. Thank you. Uh, finally, they gave us the damn room key, and of course I'm struggling. Jen's struggling with the dog. I've got the taking the hold all, which what have I done here? Uh, again, not thinking. Taking the hold all, which is now sort of I'm carrying it because it's a hold. It's not a, one of them wheelie suitcases, which is good because then I have to fight with that stupid door to <laughs> get it in the hotel um i have to go back out at some point to get the dog crate or we just let the dog sleep in the room which is uh, i'm not against it but of course the dog's been in the car for hours and so have i but i'm tired the dog's in the car for hours he just sleeps which leaves the dog not tired right? which is a problem because a tired dog Sleeps all night and a not tired dog doesn't. Where am I going? On this way. This direction. 
So we've got the dog in the room, and she's on a lead as well, so she's pulling. And this is a bit of a frustrating thing with this dog. She hasn't really learned how to not uh, pull on a lead. And it's a Border Collie thing. They're all like that, apparently. So she's pulling on the lead, and she's investigating everything, and she's being a pain in the ass Because she's a dog. Uh, I'm okay with the Forgotten Sepulchre. And <laughs> we're trying to and we're trying to find the floor. We're on the ground floor, which is horrible because it's a Britannia hotel. And just well, one of these situations, please just disappear. Right? That's all we want. One of these situations needs to go away because it's not funny. I've had enough. I'm going to sleep. Told you. I'm glad that I kept the first target thing. The shots pierced the first target thing. That was quite important. <sighs> so we get in the room, we in the room, and the room... Goodness. Oh, did I tell you? I can't remember if I told you in the last one. We paid extra for a window. I'll repeat that. Paid extra for a window. My guess is that some of the rooms do not have windows. Well, this is okay, in the sense that, you know, you can't help necessarily the building that you're in. What you can help is the way you deal with that, i.e., do you charge people extra for a window, or do you give people a discount if they choose to not have a window? You can have one of the non-windowed rooms for a small discount, if you're not bothered by it. I was bothered by it. <laughs> as, as should you be you know there's health benefits of having a window even in London uh, and plus you know, just fresh air um, and but I thought that whilst I was waiting for Jen to finish in our, finish her appointment in the hospital because she was going in for general uh, Jen, um, that I was going to go back to the room and sort of use the laptop and, and get some work done of some description. I, I didn't know what description, but some description. Can I prefer my ground-based retaliations type <laughs> type attacky thing actually? Um I was going to go back to the the room the next day and, and do some work of some nature. I brought my personal laptop, not my work laptop. Oop, there's a, a rune on the floor. Simply because I didn't want to do any work work. Like, the first thing we thought of was maybe Jen goes in for her appointment and then I get some work work done. I work from home for a while and try not to take a day off work if I can possibly avoid it. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Uh, as it as it transpires, it was even it was better to be honest. The actual situation better. We haven't got there yet. Move back to yesterday when we were in a room with a window, which had cost us extra. It did have a window, so we didn't pay for nothing. Although you might argue that we did because paying for a window, is preposterous. Uh, but we we got the thing we paid for, even though it's ludicrous that we had to pay for it. At all. Uh, where are you? How dare you? That was kind of okay. Uh, do I want this? Compared to... I get one brutality, but this one's got two... It's, it's actually got more defense. I think I'll take it. <clears throat> Which I, you know, I have done. So, <laughs> no going back now, huh? Did you see me get that right? That <laughs> never happens. Worst part about the Forgotten Sepulchre is that I can't deal with those things. And I did deal with those things. So, uh, ha ha ha, in your face, Iago. The, the room has a window, and the window is closed. And <clears throat> not only is the window closed, but the radiator is... As is correct, beneath the window. So a radiator should be beneath the window in general case because 
it actually assists. If you open the window and put the radiator on, it assists with the circulation of the hot air from the radiator and it helps the radiator do its job, even though it seems counterproductive or counterintuitive because you would expect that the radiator is going to be... that the, cool, the cold air is going to like reduce the heating ability of the radiator basically directly. Because it's cold air, right? That, that would be a reasonable thing to assume, but in fact, if you put the radiator beneath the window, uh, you, you get this phenomenon where it, it improves it, which is all fine and good. So we've got a radiator under a window. The radiator is on literally full blast and has been for goodness knows how long. And the window is not open. <laughs> now, what I was saying is true about windows and radiators, however. <laughs> however... It doesn't, to some extent, if you just leave the radiator on in a small room for a long, long time, that is also going to make the room very, very hot. So it, it did. <laughs> Burning poison bleeding. I've got, I've got two explode you victims remains, you think. I'm gonna, this powerful grenade does not have uh, a, a level of survival, but I can get that back, I think, by upgrading it. So I'm going to do that. I'm not worried about my kill streak on this run, by the way. I mean... <laughs> that's that's really none of my concern. I'm I'm just concerned with survival. Nice. This was a good pickup. This bow actually because it is in my panic slot and it's working. I think that's the important thing there. It's my oh heck, there's something near me. Press the shoot it button or the smack it really hard button, which is my sword button. But it's not a sword. But also. That's okay, because it works better at close range anyway, so it's basically a sword that has shooty power. Um, I'll just take the most expensive, the most pricey one, and then put it back. There we go. Try not to get that wrong, because you will end up selling your best weapon, and being stuck with not just an inferior weapon. Uh, that's right. But uh, a, a weapon you can't actually use, because it doesn't fit in with your build whatsoever. Um, yes, yeah, give me the 16 hips, please. Where am I? Gosh. <laughs> I'm not into that. So, this room that we've got into is sweltering because, presumably, for the entirety of the day, they've uh, had this hot, hot radiator on full blast. I do appreciate that those things stand still. It's at least a, a little bit of a benefit to try to kill them before they kill you. Just that I wish that they would not shoot me. <laughs> I have to bait them into shooting you. And then... Hello. Keep burning. Just keep burning. Just keep burning. Oh, the sound went away. Okay, come back. It's come back. Let's um, get our faster Narada to go away and get back over here, and then uh, baddies and stuff. And things. Be gone. Very well. Nice. Absolutely sweltering in this room. And it's not just sweltering, but it's like this sort of London type of sweltering, where not only are you dying from heat, but you, you literally can't breathe in this place. <laughs> so funny. Oh, I really appreciate that. Uh, give me some light, please. Whew. So, I'm... Um, yeah, we're, we're both sweltering. Like, Jen doesn't get warm easily at all. And yet, here she is complaining about the temperature in this room. So, this is a hot, hot place. And it's stuffy, and... It's got a sort of metallic flavour. It's not just stuffy. It's, it's like, tangibly... I can taste the air. You know, I'm, I'm sure you've experienced this sort of heat. It's like the heat of a sauna, actually. That's a good example. Um... And I felt it recently, actually, again. It might have literally been in my car when I realised that I was overheating because I'd turned the heater on full in my car for a small amount of time. I The entirety of the journey so far for like half an hour or so. Because everything was um, steamed up and, and it was a cold day. So, Hello, Owl. These are really good. I'm going to keep... I oh yeah 
Okay, I'm going to keep this. Where's my nearest teleporter? I'm not going that way, so we'll go this way. And it's the it's the tangy taste of being so hot that you can the air is making your tongue taste buds activate. I think that's literally what's happening. Is your taste buds are activating. Oh no, finish the floor. That's really good. Well done, me. Um, because it's so hot, and I've tasted it in a sauna, tasted it in my car, and I could taste it in this room. It must have been 35, 40 degrees in there, you know? It was absolutely astonishingly hot. <clears throat> and unbearably hot, right? Not just... It was oppressive. The heat was oppressive. Um, and of course, don't forget, still pretty cross because of all the rubbish we've had to deal with. And... Um, oh, that's good. Like, getting tireder and tireder. Ah, oh, I got it back. Nice. That's all good. I'm okay with that. <clears throat> Excuse me, moi. And then... <laughs> so... That's too hot to sleep. It's so hot that not wearing anything and not being under the, the duvet is too much. <clears throat> so we turn the radiator off. Well, no, I don't actually. First thing I try and do is sleep anyway. <laughs> Which is not going to happen. So. That's not correct. I shouldn't do that. Appreciate it uh, doing that attack. Um, when it does. Because. Let's finish this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Finish me off, baby. Stop. Go, oh, bring it on. Nice. I went completely quiet because I wanted to make sure that I actually <laughs> succeeded at that fight. Uh, apologies for the dead air. Look, you, you know how it works. Sometimes there's dead air because the game is hard. That's okay. No, thank you. Bling, 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 bling. Swift sword. I, I... It's not as much deeps as my infantry bow, which I'm actually getting on really well with. So We're getting towards the end, and I've still not quite finished the first day of this awful hotel. Can't sleep. This is what we. This is the moral of this story: is I cannot sleep at all. Hundred percent will be of plus quality, which is amazing. I don't care to unlock anything from the inventor. I want to give everything to this dude. And I, I am sorry, the collector. And I'm aware that I can um, break this door down, and I probably should start doing that because of reasons <laughs> that that um, I I can reliably get to the first collector, the first. Uh, What's the other guy called? The arch the architect, the, the forge master thingy. I reliably get there w without dying, which means I get to keep all my <coughs> excuse me, all my cells. But I do have things to unlock on the way through as well. So I mean, it's not like it's massively beneficial. I guess it's, it's a bit of a, a conundrum. Do you do the one or the other? I don't know. Uh, I'm a bit worried that there are no baddies. This is like that aliens uh, doom. Thing where there was just no enemies except for noises in the first level and it was very psychologically uh, it was a psychologically thrilling time hello I did not see you the first time glad that you've shown your face do not appreciate this Sam I am I find it very difficult and someone please I'm open to tips on this as well um, when I need to go upwards in order to um, perform any attack on an enemy like in that situation I had to jump up to get to a position like I need to jump up like this and then throw I can't quite jump high enough to throw so I have to climb and then chuck and those birdies with the daggers are so swift um, that 
it almost seems impossible to time it. Nope, this is not the right way. I want to be able to time it such that when I'm up there, they're both facing away from me. But they're going backwards and forwards like Billio. It's almost impossible to get like up there and throw the thing and get down again before they've seen you. Especially if you consider the fact that they are... Um, invisible. So not only are they swift, you can't see them. <laughs> Here's another question. Right, here's a perfect example. What is my, what is my strategy here? I got hit. Um, I wanted my strategy there to be jump up, throw the grenade, jump back down again. Like some some enemies, it's obvious how to bait them, right? This one not so much. <laughs> You can see me anyway. This is, this is rude. Right, right, anyway. I don't have to do much. No, that was... One grenade is successful. And at least my health keeps coming back, so there is that. Um, but I, I haven't figured out how to get all of this stuff on the go. Oh, you're new. Not completely new. I have seen you before. Get out of it. Wall hacks. Stopping me from channeling. It's very rude indeed. Have more grenade damage. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Because you can't stomp them either, can you? That's the thing. Hopefully that's clear. Oh, I, I actually walked straight into that. There we go. If these jokers would like to stop shooting me so I could like, concentrate on one thing. <laughs> that was very lucky timing. Ah, dog! <gasps> Don't do that. <laughs> he loves you. Oh. <laughs> Can I be more noisy, dog? You need Shut to knock. Up. I was banging at the door a whole bunch. I got these on. I can't hear nothing. You Look what you made me do. I'm dying. I didn't do anything. Uh, I'm not that dying. It's I not everyone, very... Everyone's loving videos, by the I way. I can't hear you. What? Everyone at work are loving the videos, by the way. Oh, cool. <laughs> I haven't really got that many because you keep... Having things to do. Uh, do I want to? Yes, I do want to. Good job, because I am. Apparently. Red Dead Redemption? Not really interested. I suspect the quest. Oh. No, well, they'll have to buy it to me then. Buy it for me. I thought it was on PC like years ago. No. Oh, the second one? I think I it was know. a sequel. I don't know. I was like, I. Good enough, like, it was amazing what that I've heard doing? of it. In the... Ah, no, leave me alone. <gasps> That's the first time I've had to use a healing potion in the entire game, actually. Oi, miss me with that. This is dead cells. Don't... That's what I was talking about earlier. And I was like, the ninja one. The ninja one. So last time you talked about the ninja one, you were talking about, um... Oh, was the other ninja one? The one Mark of the ninja. Dude. The ninja, yeah. Yeah. Is that actually called the ninja? Mark of the ninja. Mark of the ninja. Please, have range. Ninja. You awful, awful man. Is it ninja? No. I'll stop playing it. I like what... I wasn't audio. recording that game. <laughs> I was watching you play it. Yeah, you were watching me play on the little telly. Oh? I thought I was watching you play. Oh, uh, downstairs on the Steam Link. Hey, yeah, you're playing this with a controller. Yeah. The game would be impossible without a controller. Because I normally see you playing this one on the telly. Oh. Uh, no, I have recorded every episode of this except for the one time when I tried to grind a little bit and you weren't here, so I thought I'll play some Dead Cells and then it crashed. Oh my god. Give my ammo back. 
we go. Um, and then I it wouldn't load one of the levels, and I was like, oh no, I've played it across the Steam link and ruined it immediately, so I'm never doing that again. But I think it was just I bad timing. I, yeah, that's what I mean. I had to. I had to restart a run because it corrupted. Oh yeah, that time. Yeah. Yeah, but you weren't watching. We were that's away. We were on holidays. Watching... Holiday, on <laughs> work, <laughs> work holidays, same thing for you. Isn't it? Well, only for some of us. Run away. I said that to. Ah. Well, only some of the work. No, but I. It was like having a little bit of a holiday from my work. A little bit of fun and there was nothing bad about it. Even when it was supposedly stressful, it wasn't actually stressful. I mean, you have to say that because you know that all the boys are watching. No, but it's true. And he was like... What is that thing? Oh, it's an invisible. Yeah, those dudes are like the worst, and they're on the first level. If you don't have a shield or a like a really good DPS, I have no idea how to deal with them. I don't have a shield right now, but I don't need one because healing up anyway. Mm. But they they're really fast, and they are invisible, and then they shoot you three times, but they're constantly running away from you, so they try and get range first. Ha! Ah, gotcha. And then they throw a whole bunch of damage at you and uh bag. There's another one over there. Yeah. No lights. My uh strategy so far has been to put fire on the ground. Oof, I nearly got got by that. And then let them walk on it. <laughs> uh I'm I'm alright. Oh actually I can open one I've only got one key. Found the throne room, that's really good. That means I can just go anywhere else. Red door there. Do I like the red ones? What are the, what are the different There's three champions. You have to beat to get keys. Oh. You only need to get two of the keys, and one of the champions is like almost impossible, and the other two are trivial. <coughs> one of them has water, which is going to be great for me because I have lightning. Ooh! I'm hoping it's this like one. Physics? No, it works like video game physics, which is even better. <laughs> they got that right. But there's only one baddie. These ones, there's only one baddie. Oh, help! Motion sick. My mum used to get motion sick from like a really early 2D platformer called Captain Comic. It was really good, by the way, except for it was horrible. It's probably terrible, but I remember it being really good because it was a long time ago. And I should play that. <laughs> I should download it and play. It's probably on Abandonware. You said that like you just thought of it, but I bet it's been requested. No. Do you know why I thought of it? Because Emma was talking about it. Our Emma? Yeah. She was playing the one of the... It's an odd... The, the picture she got was proper pixelated. Like, just straight up pixels. Yeah, probably the next one. Um, and it looked really good. And she one. So I was like, oh, that's it. And you Finding of Isaac was... Um, you just have how to play. You just read the book. Or play the game. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, record me. Were you alive when uh, video games came with actual books to tell you how to play them? This is one I want. Look, got two of these well, dudes and some. It was probably well. I mean, when I had, I had. A... <laughs> uh oh, I'm hurting myself. What I don't want to hurt myself. There? I'll set the water on electric. I'm gonna say fire, but of course it's not. If you turn on this too much, it hurts you, which I learned after killing myself with it one time, and then someone informed me of it. Oh, you've got a thing for me. I will kill you, but only out of principle. When I was alive when the PS1 came and I got one, and we had like, I mean, I was like, um, we had like kids games, but it's Bugs Life and stuff like that. And they all came with little books. Yeah, little stories and yeah. how to. It's like, it's one of the things you don't get anymore in modern like video games. Case yeah. yeah, just enough space. It's like how you don't get CD sleeves with MP3s. Yeah, I used to love reading CD sleeves and learning all the lyrics from. Never you used to bug me when they didn't put the lyrics on a CD sleeve. It's like, what are you hoping to achieve by not telling me how to sing along badly? 
<laughs> You're trying to oh, copyright your lyrics. There was one Ow. part where it was a really good... It was something really obscure. I have no idea. Band or whatever. This one. They had like some really cool like stories and origin stuff. Right. Um, and they didn't have the actual lyrics. They had the stories behind the lyrics and how they came up with the lyrics and why. Are you thinking of Chumba Wumba? No. Because it because I didn't know about that. Made it to the end and I still haven't finished my story about the first day of the host. Oh, sorry. But I didn't even I it took me forty five minutes to get just to the car park. Oh my god. <laughs> hey wait, which, which hospital trip is The hotel. I was about okay. Because right. on last Monday I was going on about the hotel. I was on like hotel. I don't know why See? it's so highly rated. It's got like an 82 rating or an 83 rating or something. Maybe that just, you're just thinking of it as highly rated, but actually that's terrible because... It's not. It's, it's a really high rating. Right. Should we reset mutations? He says resetting mutations. Your melee attacks give back a small amount of HP depending on attack damage as long as you have an active speed buff. I don't know if I want that actually. No. That's why I'm not drinking it. It's horrible. <laughs> Go get me some fresh water at once. Matron. You're not allowed to call me matron. Yes, matron. Ow! At Rue. A boost! A boost! Please, may I have a calculator? It even has everything. my name on it, my old name. Both of those are my old name. What? It's the same name twice, that's why. What? Uh. Oops, I'm HP. Soon. Health potions only restore 45 HP. They used to be. <coughs> Reduces the core damage skills with each critical hit. That might help. I do a water squash. Uh, squash? I don't know. Right, let's get this right, because this is, this is our opportunity. We've got to beat this boss. I forgot about Igdar Oros Leox. I assume that means heart of the ox or something. Um, I haven't used that in years. Damage, no. I, I can do a lot of critical hits and it will reduce cooldown. Thing is, I don't think I need this because enemies aren't going to die very, very often. Fifteen seconds when we get DPS and extended healing could be really good. Let's um let's take this because this is actually really good. I think because my skills take ages to cool down, but I can do a lot of critical hits if I manage to channel without getting hit. I'm not going to be killing very many enemies, which is why I don't want any of these things. Melee attacks give you back some stat damage as long as you have an active speed buff, which might be possible. I don't know if I can get an active speed buff because I think that might come from killing things. Enemy killed. Melee attacks slow down enemies won't be able to affect you in melees. That might be good to just keep us alive. Boost your HP by 14%. I will take that one. I want more mutations available. <laughs> Let me have another slot. Parting gift. Predator. Um. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. Right. Okay, Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. What we do? Okay. Bye. Okay. What we do? Killed. No. Rolling doesn't really help. Maybe it helps. I wish I'd picked up the ice thingy. I'd forgotten that we were going to be fighting this boss. I need a shock just before the end. That would be great. Hundred thirty one is no enemy. There's always going to be an enemy near me. Parries no. Enemy dies no. <coughs> I will take this. Honestly, I think the use of my health potion. Are you serious? <laughs> is gonna make a big difference. That being a single charge instead of a full charge is also gonna make a big difference. 
I need to do a lot better at the castle. I am doing a lot better at the castle, but I need, still need... I've got a long way to go. Uh, I need to do a lot better at the castle before I can... You know... Oh, oh, oh. It's already bad. Use this. Channel, channel, channel. Kill, kill, kill. Nice. Oh, those don't turn into things. Those are... Bye! This is what I thought that was. What happened? How dare you? This is too hard. I can't do this. Help! No, what's happening? I don't even know where I am. <laughs> Let me out. No. I so mind flooded by that. I, I I didn't like the thing that slows down my healing. That really threw me for a, a lot. That was a big problem because if I hadn't ruined myself, that would have been great. Um, I, I, no excuses. I just don't know what happened. It was just really hard. I can't remember how to fight that enemy and I don't get many opportunities to try. I think that's a big deal. I do not get many opportunities to try that. But in the next run, every single thing will be uh, a single plus, single level of plus. Let me pick it up, including these, no doubt. Burns enemies in the ground. Like, we could take... Again, I need a weapon. We'll take this and this. I'll do a little bloodthirsty shield and we'll join in the next episode when I'll tell you all about how it's impossible to fall asleep in, like, 40-odd degrees of heat when someone's put the radiator on for an entire day. Full blast, and then said, here's your room. And then there's many other things to talk about, but until next time, thank you for watching, thank you for joining me. I hope if you have any comments, I did ask some questions, so please give me some answers in the comments. And until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you.